Hi everyone, welcome to the restaurant show and we are gonna start things out with, um, now this is tips from chef Aaron Dempsey of Orabella's on how to make some homemade mayo. Correct. And I was telling him like, you know, you can show us how to do it. He's like, it's easy. I'm like, to you it's easy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I make gallons of this at a time. Which, it's really cool because this is all the ingredients. Pretty much, yes. Wow, that is, okay, tell me, tell me all about it. <laughs> um, basic mayonnaise, it's really simple. It's just egg yolks, okay. um, oil, a neutral oil. Okay. You don't want to use olive oil, um, oh. a little too fruity. Right, right. So you want to stick with something like um, a canola oil or vegetable so oil. So very easily accessible. You don't right. have to buy special things to make your own mayo. Right, so you would do egg yolks, um, some sort of mustard as an okay. emulsifier, which holds it all together, okay. keeps it from separating. Okay. Um, and, and that's then, what the mustard will do. Yes, that holds it together. And so that might change up to how your flavor is Right, you a can go bit. stone ground. This right here is a Dijon, so it's got right. a little spice to yeah, it. Yeah, um, cool. So it gives a little heat on the, on the back of the notes. Um, then you a little salt, a little pepper, and then slowly drizzle in some All oil. right, let's and, do this. And that's let's do it. this. Okay. And now, Ed, go ahead, put it in, because I definitely have so questions. First, we're going to start off with a couple egg yolks. The, just the yolks, not the whites. Right. What should I do with those whites? Um, Make you them should, for... You should froth them up and yeah. uh, use them for a dessert. Oh, there we go. Or, so, or um, if you are, you know, want to be healthy the next day after you have your homemade mayo, uh, egg white omelet, right? Exactly, I mean, so, exactly. Don't throw it away, though. <laughs> right, yeah, save that. You can freeze it, too, actually. Oh, oh good tip. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to do a little lemon juice. Okay. This is the mustard. So you put, so far we have egg yolks, lemon juice, and a little bit of the Dijon mustard right, in there. Right, so we're going to um, burn this up real quick. All right, perfect. And, um... Obviously, you have a lot of different specialty. Now, okay, the hot thing now is maybe you have a aioli, which I know you guys do that right. too. What's the difference? Um, mayonnaise is just your basic ingredients. It's the egg yolks, it's the mm -hmm. oil, um, it's salt, it's pepper, and it's the mustard. Okay. Aioli is when you infuse it with something else. Um, roasted red pepper. Which we're going to do, which roasted we're about garlic, to do that part. Okay. Fresh herbs. Perfect. That, that kind Perfect. Of thing. I love it. So we're going to add a little bit of the zest. So now we are starting to make it into an aioli right. versus, gonna, a, versus a mayo. We're That's so do a great. Fresh pepper. Because I've been noticing in the grocery stores too, like now there's like balsamic, you know, mayo. Like there's different mayos now that even the main name. Name brands are getting into because they're getting so popular. Right, right, right. You can go into like olive oil mayos. Like, yeah. To me, that's a little too fruity. Too, it kind of right. it, it overpowers it. But with this kind of thing, um, you really want it to be neutral because you're enhancing the garlic with and the herbs. I'm so instead. excited. Yeah. If you guys could smell how good this is through the television, you'd be right on because you're like, yes, please add that into oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> please it, add add that into something. It's good. Now the <laughs> secret to the the mayonnaise is you have to slowly drizzle in the oil. Don't dump it in. Right. Okay. If you if you do, it will break. So and we're gonna turn it on. It's gonna be a little loud. Sure, sure. But it's gonna slowly. I'll talk loud. I, my family's like, yeah, right. You will. <laughs> okay. Here we <laughs> talk go. Talk loud all the time. Oh. oh. Or we just jinxed it. <laughs> oh, hold on. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. Safety measures. <laughs> so drizzling it in definitely is the key. Right. And when it starts to catch. That is great. Now, some of these things, I mean, you obviously use these in the restaurants on what are some of the main items you use for. I know we have something here that, we, that you serve it with, right? We use them as a dipping sauce for our calamari. Oh, great. And so this is it right here, right? That's right. perfect. This, that is the fried artichoke hearts. Fried artichoke hearts. I love it. Um, now, this isn't one of their appetizers that they have, and it comes with their red pepper and basil pesto. Roasted red pepper Ooh. basil pesto, <laughs> correct. And he promised me that he would show me next time how to make that too. Yeah, we can do that next time. Because these are, this is a great like light dipping and then a heavier, like a little bit richer, exactly. creamier. An acid and a fat, and that exactly. way it balances out. And I would be the one, I know you guys are all going to come, but I would be like, dip it in that one and dip it in that one. <laughs> I would be my own little side of dipping sauce. All right, all right. so it's going to start to uh, start to emulsify. Right, and then you add in, now this here is the roasted um, garlic, right? Right. Chef, and then what is this chef here that we have? That is uh, fresh parsley, fresh basil. That's fresh right. parsley and fresh basil. And now you don't have to tear this up before you put it in? Uh, no, it's going to puree up nicely with and this. What if I don't have fresh herbs? Can I use um, dry or does that really it, change it up? I wouldn't use dry in this because it'll kind of... It, it stays dry. It doesn't gotcha. soften up, so you know. It'll be a little gritty. Well, exactly, so, exactly. So don't, you know, if you are going to try this at home, 
uh, definitely go out when you're buying all your ingredients. Make sure you grab that fresh um, herb, or even better, I know a lot of people um, have like little plants already in their windowsill. Great way to incorporate some of those right. things. Right. Okay, now we're going to add some of the fresh herbs. Beautiful. And the roasted garlic. And what a nice color that's going to add right. to it too. That's how you get those beautiful so little specks So this is going to go high again, so it's going to be a little right. loud. So this... All right. Now tell me, you have some new, I know we're running out of time soon, but new spring items coming up? Um, what we're doing, uh, eggplant, a lot of fresh produce. Yeah, a lot of fresh produce, yes. yeah. <laughs> um, so farmer's market right across the street from us, which is really nice. When is the farmer's market it's over there? It's on Tuesdays, I believe it's around 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Okay. So once it gets warm, it's, it's now good Now that, that is a different farmer's market. There's the Bluffton Farmer's Market on Calhoun Street. There's also another Bluffton Farmer's Market um, right by Orabello's in the public shopping center right off of Buck Walter. Right. Again, just to reiterate where you guys are at and right there by station 300. Right. And um, and of course, as you're pouring that out, um, tell me again about your delivery because that is key. I live out in Bluffton and we need delivery. <laughs> right. So, so we we deliver all the way to Sun City, which is nice. Right. Absolutely. Um, that's all in that's, the a, that's yeah. far out there actually. It really is. It really is. So um, this is it, your you, basic mayonnaise. Right. Um, it's a little thinner because we use it as a dipping sauce. Exactly. If, we use it for a sandwich. We're going to thicken it up with a couple more egg yolks. Gotcha. And, and that's what's going to make it thicker. So right. if you are trying it at home, that's what you need to do. You just need to add in a little bit more of the um, egg, egg, egg yolks. yolks. And that will emulsify it and thicken it up a lot better. I love it. Now remember, guys, um, they are. give me your hours again one more time. It's um, Monday through Saturday. 11 to 9, and then on Sunday is 11 to 8. 11 to 8, so they yeah. close up a little bit earlier. Um, delivery to a basically a five mile radius? I think so it's seven miles, woo! so yeah, good to go. <laughs> All, that covers a lot, of, a lot of the area, and that pizza is absolutely fantastic. Wonderful. So check them out, uh, the best new restaurant in Bluffton. Yes. And uh, they're right there on the Buckwalter Parkway. We'll be All back right. in just a moment. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate Thank you it. so much. All right, we'll be back in a moment.